Welcome back. An organic baby food business starting right here in Green Bay. The Hungry Cricket was created by Alicia Lewis a little over a year ago. And it's really receiving rave yes. reviews. But where did this idea come from? NBC 26's Alexa Santos has the story. It's a small business with a big goal. My business has the opportunity to start a movement in our city. Creator of the Hungry Cricket, Alicia Lewis, makes her special organic kabucha squash baby food. She started her business out of inspiration to feed her own babies organic food. I think it all came down to providing babies with a healthy option. I always wanted to own my own business, so when this opportunity came available, it just seemed like I should go for it. Lewis believes there are large benefits to feeding your baby organic. There are a lot of studies that show that the shelf-stable foods are, are given all of these extras to make them taste good and stay longer on the shelf, but the problem is then your baby is in taking more sodium and more sugar, which obviously isn't healthy for their diet. An organic product, you know, it's clean. Um, there isn't any chemicals used to grow the produce that we have. And she's trying to start a new trend in the area. It wasn't something that was talked about that much, especially in Green Bay. There's not a huge organic following yet. And make a difference. Educating parents about why it's important to purchase organic produce for their babies, especially for children that young when their bodies and their brains are developing. Well, joining us live now is Alicia Lewis, the creator of The Hungry Cricket. We have to ask, where did the name come from? The name came from my youngest son, Lyle. Uh, when we brought him home from the hospital, our middle daughter just started calling him Cricket one day. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so he was the hungry cricket. Yes, he, he eats probably, you know, nonstop if we let him. How'd you get so into the organic aspect of it? You know, it's something that actually is relatively new for our family. Um, over time, we became more interested in it, especially with our youngest son. And I think the more I researched, the more I realized how valuable it was. Now, let's talk about the food. Is it all grown locally? Where do you get it from? It is. It's all grown within the state of Wisconsin. Uh, we get all of our produce from responsible growers who That's believe awesome. chemical-free farming is important, and we couldn't agree more. Now tell us a little bit, I got to know about these flavors, because I saw our reporter try testing a little yeah. bit, I got to know about them. Yes, I, I wanted to offer something that parents in Wisconsin couldn't get at Walmart okay. or, or any other place. So I've just tried some new um, combinations and some local produce like asparagus, which actually went over really well. Oh, okay. So it's a lot of fun to, to test out the new flavors and sometimes they're epic failures. <laughs> But good thing I have three taste testers at home. So. <laughs> Absolutely true. Awesome. Now, if you are looking to buy some of the organic baby food, you can find it in the organic food freezers at Festival Foods in places like De Pere, Suamico, and Anina. A four-ounce container of baby food sells for about $2.99.